Okay, alright, we're back again for another episode of St Sort of Asumi. Alright, we're going to be picking our next class. Um, I feel that we're getting closer and closer to finishing this up, so... Who knows, maybe this will be the last one, maybe there will be one more, maybe two more after this. But, I can feel it coming up soon, so... Hopefully, some good stuff comes out of this. I mean, there's been a few surprises that have come up, that's all I gotta say. A, a few of the last ones... Some unexpected things have happened that I did not expect. But, alright, now this one I'm not exactly sure what I want to take. But I think I'm going to go with traditional music. I'm going to see where that takes us. Let's see what uh, fellow classmates will meet here. Because most of them seem to have to been one or the other, at least some of them. And there seems to be relationship building when you meet some of them. Because they, they seem to give options. So, let's see who we meet here. I love music. This will be really interesting. Oh, it's Mako again. She... I'm not too surprised, to tell you the truth. She seems to take a lot of the intellectual classes. That you would find a little more intellectual. Asumi! Utsuru and Mineko sit together at the front of the room, both waving her over. I should have known I'd find you two here. I thought about singing up for swimming again. They all laugh. If I never have to jump into a pool again, it'll be too soon. I think I still have chlorine up my nose. It's probably traveled into your brain by now. Alright class, let's begin. I'm absolutely ecstatic so many of you chose to further your music education. Music enriches the soul, relaxes the mind, and improves focus. All useful effects for any samurai. In this class, you'll be learning to play an instrument, namely the ocarina, and master a couple of simple songs. Oh, an ocarina. For our first exercise, you'll each receive an ocarina. I'll tell you the notes to play in order, and you'll play them back to me. Easy stuff. Hey! I've seen one of these before. Seems simple enough. There are many holes, so it should be easy to play. It doesn't sound so easy to me. I thought we'd just be listening to music. <laughs> oh, did you think? Oh, did you think it would be like an easy class? We'll just listen to music. But it looks like it's a a music, an actual like music class. Pay attention, class. These are the notes you should play. C A D F E F. Ready? Play. Oh dear, Asumi. Have you ever played before? Err, no. I thought not. You didn't hit a single note, and you didn't keep in time. I don't think you will be marching in formation anytime soon. What the hell with an ocarina? Marching? Music you use to keep those marching in time. I am more of a loan. Yes, I am sure you are. Why would you choose an advanced music class if you can't play? This is an advanced music class? <laughs> what the hell? I don't think she knew what the hell she was getting into. All the sheet said was traditional music. I assumed it was a class to learn and appreciate it. Well, no. Mm, well... Why don't you sit at the side there for now and study the class? That kind of sucks. <laughs> she, she's gonna, she has to set it out, basically. Yeah, you don't know what you're doing. Right, class? Let's show Asumi what you can do now. That's gonna be kind of embarrassing. Just listen and enjoy Asumi for today. Well, that's enough for one day. Don't worry if it's hard for you to follow along. That'll get better with practice. I have confidence in all of you. Have a great day. And Asumi, I thank you for coming. But I don't think this class would be right for you when you pass your initiation period. I understand. Sorry for wasting your time. Not at all. I will talk with the prefects and make sure what the class entails is made clearer in future. I hope you like the playing. Yeah, 
It's not often we get to play in front of someone in the class. You were all very good. Thank you. It was good. Anyway, talk later. Yeah, see you later, Sumi. You too, Itsuru. Today sure was eventful. I guess you could say so. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking forward to just getting into bed and passing out. Is someone going to barge in here and interrupt her like they always seem? She always seems to be dressed up in her uh, PJs. And someone seems to always barge in the room. Although, I haven't slept much lately. I mean, keeps racing. Thoughts of Raven, Orochi, the student stacks. I need to have a solid lead, and quickly. Assuming climbs into bread, then freezes. Why is she, why is she freezing? Freezes? Why is she freeze for? She just Did something just come to mind? Did she just think of something? What was that? <gasps> a figure flashes past her window, then another. Sumi raises the window and peers out. They're dressed all in black. I smell trouble. Can't just sit around and not do anything. With a sigh, she pulls her shoes on, still in her pajamas. She also grabs her cloak. Time to do what I do best. Let's kill some fuckers. Sumi creeps behind the figures, silent as a cat. She uses the shadows to her advantage. Count three of them. And they seem to be headed for the presidential house. She watches as they split up when they reach the presidential house, all moving towards what seemed to be a predetermined position. Hmm. I need to take them all out. Take them out. But I should keep them alive for questioning. Yeah, let's beat the hell out of them. Hey. Now I'm thinking like a Justicar. A few weeks ago, I would have thought, wouldn't have thought twice about killing them. Aw. Oh. That's the approach I was hoping to take, you know, just kill, 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 but I guess maybe we can take a little more logical way. Question them, and then kill them! She allows herself a moment of pride, then focuses back on the mission at hand. Okay, looks like the first one has climbed that tree over there. The figure is crouched among the lower branches. The autumn leaves on the tree are still soft and colorful. The leaves scattered on the ground below are dried and brittle. Potentially noisy. How about we climb the nearest tree and hop across? Yeah, let's try that one. I don't know how... I'm not an assassin, so I'm not sure what might be the best approach. But let's try climbing the tree and hopping across. As silently as possible, Sumi scales the nearest tree, hides herself among the leaves, then she springs like a squirrel across to the next tree. The soft leaves cushion her jump, ensuring a noiseless travel. She repeats the jump twice more, finally landing in the branches above the hooded figure. She reaches out and... Walk. Knocks the figure on the head. Like a rag dog, he topples from the low branches and lands with the soft thud on the ground, unconscious. Winding down. Through the leaves, she peers down and spies the second target lying in the tall ornamental grass that surrounds the presidential house. Apparently I chose a good option for that one. The long grasses are just barely tall enough to conceal her. This one looks like it might be a girl. Hmm. Ah, hard, hard, hard option here. Oh, hmm, 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 hmm. Should I crawl through the grass or run to her hiding spot before she moves? Shit. It's, it's. We're gonna go slow or fast. All right, we're, I'm, I'm gonna choose run to her and hide hiding spot before she moves. Sumi drops from the tree and crouches, moving as fast as she can while still being concealed. The grasses, however, aren't as tall as she anticipated, and the girl can just glimpse her. Oh, bad option! Oh! Like a startled deer from the target, 
takes off racing back across the lawn. Sumi knew there's no chance of catching her. Damn it, I failed. As Sumi walks back to her dorm room, she spies the three presidential squad members, Sen, KG, and Hikari, chatting under a tree. Oh, apparently I screwed that up. Damn. I should've just did the military. Crawl. I might be tired, but I only have a short time to make my decision and end this. I need to spend some time with one of them tonight. Sumi starts to make her way over to them. But which one? Kiji Hikari. I've seen nothing about Keiji. Let's spend some time with Sen. Hey, Sen. I was wondering, you want to hang out tonight? Just us girls? Oh, sorry, Asumi. I'm busy tonight. Miss Naki and I have things to go over. What could that mean? Oh, well, um... Alright, so I, I can't pick Sen. We don't know shit about Keiji. We know nothing about Keiji, really. I mean, most of the choices that we've been hanging out with or anything have been Hikari and Sen. I don't know shit about Keiji. Alright, let's pick Keiji. Keiji, how would you like to spend some time together? Keiji glances at Sen. I believe I'm already spoken for this evening. Go ahead, Keiji. Go ahead, Keiji. Come on, it'll be fun. I are all right. The park at nine. Sounds great. I'll see you then. She spins and heads back to her dorm room, filled with confidence. She earned this man's trust one way or another. He should be here by now. Already ten minutes late herself, Sumi thought she'd find Keiji already waiting for her. Yet it seems she's the one waiting. If I weren't a trained fighter, I'd be a little creeped out all alone out here. I mean, it's pretty dark, and the campus is a way off. If someone were to be hiding out here, it doesn't look very dark. The background doesn't really fit, fit what's uh, describing right here. I, see. I mean, it is a park, but it, it's not dark out. But who would do such a thing? Ah! Keiji, you jerk! She punches him on the shoulder in anger, which makes him laugh. I forgot how feisty you are. Sumi just grumbles, which makes Keiji laugh again. I, uh, I brought some wine. Why are we going out like this? This is the first time I've hung out with really with him. This makes zero sense. I thought you didn't drink. Which is why it's not... not how clogged. Keiji just shakes his head and takes a large swig from the bottle. Sumi smirks her at her... herself. Smirks her herself? She's a good liar after all. And the wine isn't a non-alcoholic. Oh, you're gonna get him drunk? <laughs> you want some? Maybe later. He shrugs and takes another large gulp. A third of the bottle is gone already. So, how have you been? We haven't really talked in a while. No, we haven't. We've barely talked. Things have been busy with the presidential squad. The new principal is... He stops and glances at Asumi. Giving us lots of work to do. That must be stressful. It is. I mean, I get enough pressure as it is without that old bag breathing down my neck. I think I... Like running around and do whatever the little princesses want. No. But I do it because that's my duty. Man, this stuff is really good. He takes another huge gulp and wipes his mouth with the back of his hand. Sumi tries not to smirk as she attempts to put on her best sympathetic expression. Damn, man. You're gonna make him drunk, aren't you? <laughs> you work so hard. People should appreciate you more. I get all the flack while the spoiled little girls get the glory at the end of the day. It's not fair. I'll tell you... I'll tell you want? I think it's supposed to say what? I, I'll tell you what? I'll tell you want? He makes a large gesture with the bottle. Which is now mostly empty. Holy shit, he almost drank it all. Simi gently takes the bottle and sets it down. But you... You appreciate me, don't you? I see how you look at me. Okay, 
I don't think we've done much looking at you. There's only really one moment that I think has come up, other than near the beginning. But, alright. He strokes her cheek. Holy shit. Uh, he's a little drunk there. I think he's trying to put on some moves with her. His charming smile is almost dazzling. But assume he can see right through it. I mean, you haven't drunk anything, assuming. You're totally aware of what's going on here. There's no reason to let him get too close. Next thing you know, he's going to be... ...ramming your boobs and... ...cupping your ass. Putting his tongue down your throat. <laughs> Lay it on thick and mention scent. Call him out. What am I calling him out? I don't understand what this is. I guess... I don't know what this is supposed to mean. Something about mention scent. Lay it on thick and mention scent. I guess we'll do this one. I, I'm, un I'm not sure exactly what... This one's actually implying by thick. Laid on thick. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm oblivious to what, what's, what it's meaning. I, I must be missing something. I'm just trying to imply what that option's supposed to mean. Or why am I calling them out on? What am I calling them out? I guess we'll lay it on thick and mention sin. Oh, KG. You see? You, you see into my very soul. I see how often you're with Sen. You must be dating her. Kiji snorts. Dating? No way. I'm more like her slave. Her slave? Always ordered me around. Kiji, go talk to Osumi. Kiji, go home for break. Kiji, talk to the principal. Go, go home for break? That's right. He was in at school during the attacks. Could that mean... Sumi suddenly feels ill. Listen, Keiji, I'm not feeling well. I'm going to go back to my room, okay? Can I come? He raises his eyebrows suggestively, which disgusts Sumi. Oh my! Oh, she doesn't like this. I think it would be a good idea if you slept this off on your own. She stands and leaves him sitting there, dumbfounded. As she crosses the park alone, she's filled with thoughts. Clearly, Keiji is highly suspicious. Maybe even her number one priority. Looks like she uncovered something after all. This is the last day of the induction period. Whatever happens at the end of this weekend, I probably won't be around anymore. Kami mentioned I would have to leave before the induction ends. I've seen a lot of things, but ultimately, I need something so I can end this. Classes aren't important. It's time to visit Mr. Konaishi's house. Perhaps I can get to the bottom of this. I need to find what he knows. This information could be vital to finding Raven. It's Kaori! Hi, Kaori. Asumi, who are you talking to? Ah. Uh, my cousin, on the phone. Oh, tell her to say hi. Anyway, let's go to the pool party going on this afternoon. It might be our last chance since the weather has been a little colder lately. Oh, well, actually... I have plans today. Good thing it's in the afternoon, then. I won't take no for an answer. Alright, later it is, then. Good, see you, then. Asumi paces back and forth, going over the plan in her head. Okay. Knock on the door, and pretend I'm writing a tribute to Mr. Konaishi. If I act sympathetic enough, maybe his wife will let me in to look through his belongings. Better go before it gets too late. So, this is the principal, right? If I remember correctly. So, the principal was messing with girls, and she's and he's married. So he's he's not just a freaking, you know, a sexual harasser slash molester, maybe rapist. I don't know. I don't know what you would put him as. I th I think that was what the pr principal's name was. And apparently he's also married, so he's a, a cheater, too? Sumi feels genuinely nervous as he raises a hand to knock on the door. Why? She's killed, and infiltrated houses plenty of times. Why is this simple task so difficult? Oh. Hello. Oh. You're not one of his... His girls, are you? Oh, shit! Maybe she does know! She just said his girls. 
Holy shit. Now, why would you stay with a man if you knew that he was doing such shit? The woman sniffs and casts her eyes to the floor. No, ma'am. I'm writing a tribute to your husband. I was wondering if I could come inside. Holy shit. So I think she does know. Damn. And she stayed with that dude? So she, she basically knew he was doing this shit? I wonder if he brought some of these girls over. He was a sick dude, man. That dude was a sick sicko. Taking advantage of his position like that. With uh, those girls. They have no mention. They never mention if there was anyone in particular. Any main characters that may that they, they have been named. That he did anything with. So we don't know anything about that. But. Ugh. I don't think they ever really showed you a picture of him. So we don't know how ugly he was. <laughs> Maybe it was an ugly dude. We never will. We will never know. Because I freaking killed him. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm not supposed to talk about anything related to the incident. She looks so exhausted and hollow. Like she's lost a feel for her life. Why aren't you supposed to talk about it? They... I've been forbidden, that's all. Oh, someone threatened you? Or something? By who? I... I don't know. The same person who... Who did all those horrible things to my poor noble? Noble. Hmm. Uh. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of how to approach this. I don't know what it means by revealed the truth. What truth am I revealing? That's that's. I mean, the, the, these choices. Some of them are too vague. Um, like. It, it, is the truth I'm revealing that I'm the one who killed her husband? Is that the truth I'm, re I'm revealing? Or is there something else that I'm revealing? Because it just says reveal the truth. Um, what truth am I revealing? That's the question I have. And Otherwise, you know, if, if, if I had a little more knowledge on what this, what it meant by truth here, then I can make the decision a little easier. Because sympathy, this is pretty straightforward. You know, you show, you show sympathy for her dead. You know, that. This one, what am I, what am I showing truth for? The only thing I can think of is maybe the, that's coming to mainly in mind is that I'm the killer. Damn. All right, I, I'm gonna take the. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the kill. I'm gonna go with the truth. I'm gonna see what how that goes. Oh oh oh, this. I think she might know that. Miss Konishi, your husband did some bad things with a lot of the first year girls at school. You really think I'm not aware of that? I mean, she kind of give that away at first. I, I... The woman takes a shaky breath, as if to steady her heartbeat, and continues. I knew about it, of course, but... My duty was to my husband, so I kept silent. But someone... A student found out, and had pictures to prove it. Shit, so... Someone was blackmailing your husband or something? So she must be old-fashioned. I mean, most women nowadays. If, not all of them. There's probably a few in a relationship, but most modern women, I don't think, would stay around for that shit. You know. I know I wouldn't. If my if my woman was cheating on me, I'd throw her out the first day. I'd say, fuck you, bitch. Get the hell out of here. You're gonna do this shit. Get the fuck out of here, and I never want to see your fucking face again. They had pictures? The woman nods and runs a shaking hand through her hair. Sumi feels a pang of guilt over what she's done to this poor woman. Whoever this student was, blackmail Nobu threatened to publish the pictures if he didn't cooperate. So he did whatever that per this person said. He never actually met his blackmailer, you see. They communicated in writing. This 
the student had unlimited access to all school records. Nobu also had to allow the slow infiltration of that horrible group into the school. You mean... Orochi? So, well, you're getting a little information out of her. Miss Konoishi shudders, wrapping her arms around herself. It was either that or be ruined. Though, I guess in the end, it didn't matter after all. Her eyes fill with tears, and she presses a hand to her mouth. Stifling a sob. I wonder if I didn't choose to kill the principal, what would be the occurrence right here? Would this moment be different? Because I don't know if we uh, just kill him anyways, if whatever we did before, whatever the choice is, he was going to die either which way. So, because I just chose to kill him right there. I don't know if the op other option would have killed him as well. So, who knows, who knows. I, I'm sorry I had to bring these memories up to you, Miss Konoshi. I've already said too much. If they found out, sorry, but you must go now. But wait, I... Goodbye. Or slams in Asumi's face, and she can hear a muffled sob on the other side. She turns slowly and crosses the lawn, deep in thought. So Raven is a student. At least that is confirmed now. And it definitely seems like it's a Presidential Squad member, I think. How else could they have the influence to get those pictures? To have that kind of sway over the principal, run a student to be with him while being recorded. And if they could control Mr. Konishi that fully, will they attempt the same with Miss Nage? I'd better keep an eye on her for her from here on out. I'll start observing her to make sure she's safe. This is all going to come to a head soon. I can feel it. See? Aren't you glad I dragged you mopey butt out here? It is pretty refreshing. Hey, a couple of fine water nymphs. It's that asshole again. Get away, you bitch. Oh no, not you again. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It's, it's that fucker again. Get lost before I put you in a chill code. You might like that. <laughs> I was just leaving. <laughs> Good idea, buddy. I'll get us some drinks, okay? As Kori crosses the deck, Sumi sees Keiji whispering to a group of first years. His dazzling smile has been cranked into full wattage, and Sumi can tell his charm is working its magic. Keiji kind of seems like some sort of player or something. Like one of the popular dudes that just likes to hit on all the girls. What are they talking about? And Sumi tries to edge closer to the conversation. But a gaggle of giggling, bikini-clad girls gets between her and her target. Defeated, she sighs and glances around. In addition to Kaori, she sees Hikari, Utsuro, and Mineko each milling about in a different location. Uh, let's go to Kaori. Wait, wait, we can approach Mineko. Let's just wait for Kaori. Yeah, let's just wait for Kaori. Kaori shouldn't be too long now. Kaori waves Asumi over to her. She's holding two drinks. Why are some people starting to leave? Not sure. Maybe just because it is starting to get dark? You weren't too bored while I was gone, were you? I was anxious waiting your return. I'm glad we could do this together. Though, it does seem we have arrived too late as most are starting to leave already. I had noticed that also. But there's no reason we have to leave. I, for one, like a swim. Shall we? Yeah, let's join her with her swim. Kari raises an eyebrow and grins. Let's go. The two dive in the pool together, laughing. It seems like I should be more tired, but I guess really not much has happened. At least the lessons are over now. But I have a feeling this weekend will be the end, and it's time to make a decision. Hmm. With all the things I've heard about Miss Nake, and the things that went on with Mr. Konoishi and Orochi, I should really keep an eye on Miss Nagi. Maybe I should check up on her tonight. I have a feeling she works even later than Miss Konoichi, Mr. Kono, Konishi did. Maybe I'll find her in her office. With new com conviction and a burst of energy, Asumi dons her cloak and begins the trek to the main office. I wonder if we figure out who the, 
the bad person is or enemy or whoever it is um it'll be a surprise to us or something because <laughs> to tell you the truth I'm not really that sure on who it might be. I mean, for some reason, Sen seems like her. I don't know why she seems like it might be her. I don't know why. Uh, I feel that it might be her for some for some reason. I really don't know why. <laughs> As Sumi quietly opens the door and slips into the office, she stops short. But what's all this? The bookshelf is knocked over, its contents strewed over the floor. The principal chair lies on its side next to the desk, which has been knocked askew. Sumi opens the desk drawer to find it's completely empty. All the records are gone. And it looks like there was a struggle here. Oh. She bends and picks up a single shoe. It's a woman's shoe. It must be hers. She's in trouble. I have to find out where they took her. Hmm. Search the floor. Look out the window. I mean, why can't we do both? Uh, this 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 choice is like pick one <laughs> type of thing and it's like will it make any real effect and why couldn't you just realistically do both you know when you think of you know real life um let's look out the window I mean we don't know how long this has been take a little peek out the window it's so dark can't see a thing no trace of her at all yeah, I should look for clues in here. Somebody drops to her hands and knees and searches the floor. See, it, didn't, it just seems like it didn't really matter. Looks like it didn't really matter. You're searching the floor anyways. <laughs> I don't see anything useful. Hey, what's this? A single muddy streaks. Streak stains the floor tile. Mud. Mud. The park! She leaps up and races off. How am I ever going to find where she went? Okay, come on, Asumi. You can do this. I'll just have to check the most likely places. Boathouse? There's a boathouse? Under the bridge? Why would it be under the freaking bridge? For some reason, let's go to the boathouse. For some reason, I... The boathouse seems like a location because, you know, there's boats. I don't... I actually, I don't even know what the hell's ever in, in a boathouse. Other than what it's description is a boat and it's a place to store it? Or is it like where you cast off a boat? I really don't know too much about boat houses. I've never been in one. <laughs> Let's go to the boat house. I assume he makes a mad dash for the boat house and tries the door. It's locked. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but I have to get in here. I have to get this door open. But how? Pick the lock, kick the door in. Let's pick the lock. If we kick the door in, whoever's on the other side might might know so let's pick the lock sammy takes a deep breath and removes a bobby pin from her hair she carefully inserts it into the lock i've done this hundreds of times as an assassin it just takes time and steady hands come on almost there yes got it the lock clicks open sammy wrenches the door open and steps inside scuffle scuffle oh, shadowy figure ah who are you everybody run my my this looks unpleasant Have you come to threaten me as well? So I've picked the right choice, it seems. Oh, I don't know why I kind of knew. I had a feeling. Quite the opposite. She takes her blade and slices through the restraints. Musnaki stands and rubs her wrists. A black eye is forming on her face. Did they rough you up much? Not as much as you'd think. I believe they were trying to scare me more than anything. Why? I haven't been very cooperative with the agreements our former principal had with some groups. These students have evidently didn't like that. So these are more than one student? Students? There are more? That's what I was thinking. There's more than one student. Oh my. Two others. The leaders, I think, left before you arrived. Do you know who these people are? Snoggy nudges the body with her toe. Oh, the body with her toe. Her body with her toe? The body? Or is there someone else there? I know they're students. This is their first year, I think. Oh, no, he must... Oh, or, or the body must be someone who got knocked out. So a first year? 
The other two, I am not sure. They're like you remained cloaked. Do you know who the person might be? Someone in the presidential squad, no doubt, but no. I don't know who specifically. Do you remember anything about the other two? Only the leader was a man. Gave a single order before they left. Okay, so... Doesn't mean, sen mean Sen's not involved, but... Is it Hikari? I mean, why would Hikari be involved? I'm trying to think of who might be. I mean... I mean, it must be, I mean, a main character we already know of or something. Damn, that really, it's, it's a huge mystery. I mean, there's, there's a lot of characters they've introduced, and a few that they really haven't gone into too much detail. Um, they've introduced quite a few characters, but we haven't get, gotten to know a lot of them, so I don't know. Because they, they only give you one chance to go to, like, one class, and you, in those, in those instances, you only really get to experience with one person maybe two a couple might have had three but how many characters they had you still a lot of times ended up with the same person i intend to find out who they are i wonder could you escort me back to my house i don't feel particularly safe on my own tonight of course she takes miss nugget by the arm and leads her over the body and outside Happy to have gotten there in time to save the one person who she now knows is on her side. Oh, you know what? I, I'm I'm glad I made the right choice to tell you the truth. Um, uh, I don't know why this seemed like the most uh, the most obvious place to go. I mean, I've seen it in movies and stuff like that, like the boathouse like area. I think it's like in movies and things like that. You know, and I think I've seen somewhere like the captive. They capture him. It's like that type of thing. <laughs> it's like why would you take him to the bathroom? Anyone could walk in there. Under the bridge? I mean, a building wouldn't be more obvious. Something you could lock. That's why I thought the boathouse. <laughs> Everything seems to be keep coming back to the presidential squad. Tomorrow it is. I must make the decision and follow it through. Whatever the consequences. Alone in her room, Sumi clutches her dagger and paces from the window to the door and back again. As expected. After yesterday and Miss Nagi, I got a message from Kami. Council thinks the bombing will happen this week. I'm out of time. I need to make a decision, right here and now. Today I'm going to find Raven and the Rochi members and kill them. But, I still don't know who. I do know it's a member of the Presidential Squad. And maybe a man. Though. But, is it just Raven? Or is there a whole group of rebels in the school? Is the whole Presidential Squad composed of rebels? Are uh, the prefects in on it, too? Could, could someone I care for be one of them? Just using me as a pawn for Orochi? No way to know for sure. But the only way to stop the bombings for sure is to be... is to confront and kill Raven. But first, I should talk to someone. Important to me. And Keiji's not important to me. Let's talk to Kaori. I mean... For all we know... Maybe Mineko is involved in this. I don't know about this dude at all. So they say maybe a guy. I mean, she said it. But she just, that's what she thought was the leader. But maybe it wasn't the leader. I mean, so one's a guy. Sounds like a presidential squad member. So we know that KG is a presidential squad member. And I th think Hikari was as well. I don't remember what was. I think Hikari is as well. Utsuro is not, and Mineko's not. Mm, Mineko's a prefect. Whoops! Shit! That is not what I wanted to choose. Oh well. I accidentally clicked that. <laughs> I actually wanted Kari, but okay, Mineko will do. With a quick nod to herself, she races out the door. <laughs> we're, we're this is what we're gonna go with here. <laughs> Sumi did not need to look far. Finding Mineko in the lounge relaxing. Mineko. Mineko opens her eyes and smiles warmly when she sees Sumi. Her quietly happy face only makes Sumi even more nervous. Oh, Sumi, I was hoping to see you. I I I wanted to tell you something perhaps crazy. You do? I do too. You do? 
I do. I love you. Whoa! <laughs> you should say I wanted to pick actually Kaori, but I accidentally clicked on Mineko. <laughs> I was I, my my I was about to click, but I clicked the wrong one because I was talking about Mineko at that moment. I love you. Mineko jumps forward, kissing a Sumi hard on the lips at joint admission. Sumi can't help but kiss her back and hold her in a lingering embrace for some time afterwards. A moment later, they break apart. Sumi feels breathless. Was I right? Yes, I love you. But that's not all. I... I'm not stupid. I know you're not a student. Your transcripts. Kami's interest in you. There's something more. Are you... Are you a Justicar? I am. Though, I am surprised you guessed. How, what does she know about Kami? It was one of the first things that drew to me to you. What, what the hell is it? How does she know about Kami? I know if you hear it means you must have something important to do. Yes, a rebel is in the school, and I need to kill. Or is this who I'm going to kill? I... I guess I think this might be who I'm gonna kill. <sighs> hmm. I really don't know who it is. Questions, questions, questions. Alright, let's go kill Hikari. Whoa, this dude's like... That's one fancy looking outfit. Hikari is alone in the dojo. Practicing his... Uh, Nakinata moves. Sumi draws her blade and approaches. Hikari. He looks up and his face darkens. I know it's you. I know you're Raven. Oh, what the hell? So Hikari is not? His brow furrowed, then he smiles a little drops his weapon. Then kill me. What? I won't put up a fight. Kill me. I welcome it. Sumi hesitates for a moment, then lunges at him. As promised, Hikari doesn't move a muscle. Her blade slashes clearly across his throat and he drops to his knees. Yet when he rolls onto his back, he's smiling. Why didn't you fight back? I think I bought. Just enough time for Raven to finish. What? You guessed wrong. No! I made the wrong choice! But he does seem like he was a bad guy, nonetheless. Seems like he was in on it. But he was not Raven. He dies with a smile on his lips. And the bomb goes off? I assume he hurries from the school, but it's just too late. Whoever Raven was has already begun the attacks. Civil War erupts as the true Raven takes her place. Her place. Sen, don't tell me it was Sen. I was thinking Sen. I should have just chose Sen. It was probably Sen. In front of an army. Though the council are forced to give Sumi her position as Jessica to help anyway. Sumi is left forever wondering, wandering over her days in the school as to who was the true leader of the rebellion. Bad end. Number four. Oh, I got a bad ending. Death of Hikari. Oh shit. It just said her. So does that mean it was Sen? Or was it someone else? Okay. Alright, we finished it. We got a band ending though. Hikari, at least in that ending, basically kind of made it like he was a bad guy. Because he knew about it. And just like, he was like, kill me. I, buy, I was going to buy enough time. So, it basically portrayed him as a bad get bad guy, but not the leader. Well, the game was okay. Overall, I might, uh... uh 
I might uh, have I might have a little thing I might say about it. I know I'm, on my other channel I might make a little thing, giving my opinion more in depth. Of course, this is only covering one ending. Um, I have a lot of games I play, so I don't think I'll be playing any of the to get any of the other endings anytime soon. But I might come back to this game. It was okay. There was a few mistakes I think spelling wise, but it wasn't it wasn't that bad. We'll let these credits go. I'm assuming these are all the Kickstarter backers. That's quite a few. Do, 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 do. <laughs> some of the art does seem inconsistent, like this of her. Seems inconsistent with some of the other art. So, just inconsistencies. Like, I'm assuming he probably hired more than one artist. Uh, but it was okay. Alright, looks like. Well, Look at that. Again, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, my playthrough of Sword of Asumi. I thought it was an okay game. Um, it looks like it has multiple endings, which is nice on these games. It gives replay value and choices. And again, guys, feel free to leave a comment if you enjoyed the series or not, or what you thought about it, or maybe a choice you think I should have chose differently. <laughs> Any of that shit, I'd, I'd love to hear. Maybe you've played the game. Maybe you've gotten one of the different endings and you know a decision. Don't tell me who was the uh, the real one, because I'd rather, you know, save that for another time. I'm not going to look that up or anything. But I might look at a different path or something. Maybe. So, guys, thanks. Feel free to leave a comment, as I said. Uh, leave a leave a thumbs up if you like the video, and uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see other videos. I will have plenty of those coming in the description box. I'll also link to uh, my other YouTube channel, which you can look forward to another video coming at some time in the future, uh, whenever I get around to it, uh, that I'll cover my thoughts on this game. And I also have just in the description box, I also have a link to my blog, which I post stuff every now and then. Usually, what I end up posting is just reposts of these pictures, but well, not these pictures, but these videos. <laughs> But I do post other stuff. Thanks, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this, and I'll see you again.